I like what shampoo and conditioner do for my hair, but I love what Pert Plus does for me. Pert Plus is a unique shampoo and conditioner in one, so my hair turns out just the way I like it. Clean, conditioned, looking great, but without the bother of two bottles. Imagine, hair I like without the fuss. That's what Pert Plus does for me. If only everything in my life was so simple. Shampoo and conditioner in one. Wash and go with Pert Plus. Buy Tennessee first and join Channel 5 in supporting these Tennessee businesses. American Home Design, AmeriClean, and Auto Value. How Roger Corman became the king of B-movies while helping launch some of the biggest names in Hollywood. The inside story on Entertainment Tonight. Monday at 10.30 on Channel 5. I'm Chris Clark. Join me each weeknight for the 10 o'clock report. News Channel 5. More news, more experience, more often. The following is a repeat broadcast of the News Channel 5 10 o'clock report. This is the News Channel 5 Weekend Report. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brett Lee. And I'm Corinne Russell. Thanks for joining us. Davidson County voters go to the polls this Thursday to decide whether to hike property taxes 50 cents for public schools. And those on both sides of the issue say it's too close to call. Anti-tax forces were going door-to-door -door in Green Hills today telling anyone who would listen that state and federal taxes will probably be going up next year as well. And they dispute the argument that anyone who votes against the tax hike is against public schools. I I don't think that it says that school funding or education is not a high priority. I think that what it says is that we don't accept a short-term, quick-fix tax hike as any, any type of solution to the problem. I think at this point we are we're running a, a horse race, a neck and neck. Phone banks at the Coalition for Public Education will be busy over the next three days. Volunteers there plan to remind voters that Tennessee ranks 45th when it comes to spending for public education and that in Davidson County, a growing number of school children are at risk of becoming dropouts. That election is Thursday. Should Tennessee telephone customers have to pay for the phone company's golf tournament in Atlanta? Tennessee's public service commissioners don't think so. The PSC says South Central Bell is unfairly charging customers for such expenses as $300,000 to sponsor a golf tournament, $900,000 to pay for Washington lobbyists, and $500,000 for corporate image advertising. The PSC has scheduled a hearing Wednesday to debate the matter. A Knoxville man poured gasoline all over his body and then set himself on fire. 32-year-old Kenneth Walker is in critical condition tonight. Police say Walker was spotted yesterday morning and taken to the University of Tennessee Medical Center. He received burns over most of his body and is now being treated in the burn center at Erlanger Hospital in Chattanooga. Our drug traffickers now smuggling cocaine into the country in soft drinks? That's exactly what FDA officials are trying to find out. A Miami man apparently got a hold of a bottle of Pony Malta de Bavaria and drank a toxic amount of cocaine. He's in a coma tonight. Investigators want to know how the drug got there and why. Rene Menendez could be the latest victim of Colombian drug traffickers. He had convulsions and cardiac arrest after drinking Pony Malta de Bavaria tainted with cocaine. That soft drink is imported from Colombia. As soon as he swallowed it, he said to his father, who was standing just a few feet away, uh, that this is poison, this tastes terrible. The Federal Food and Drug Administration has taken over this case. Investigators found 200 times the lethal dose of cocaine in two other bottles, but there are no plans for a total recall. The Menendez family wants Bavaria malt pulled from store shelves. We could lose them. And who knows if anybody else either has their home and something like this could happen. And the FDA needs to put, be put pressure on them for them to remove all the bottles. Now, investigators aren't sure if the cocaine was meant for Menendez or if he accidentally intercepted a drug smuggling scam. Authorities say drug traffickers often smuggle cocaine by dissolving it in liquids. Corinne? 
Manuel Noriega's personal banker and five others were convicted today in a scheme to launder $32 million in cocaine profits. The jury reached its verdict last night, but a U.S. District Court judge did not announce it until today. Convicted are the former banker to the deposed Panamanian leader and four other people who used to work for the Bank of Credit and Commerce. Prosecutors allege the drug profits were hidden through transactions involving the bank's subsidiaries in Panama, Luxembourg, France, and Switzerland. In London, a spectacular hostage crisis has ended peacefully. A lone gunman is behind bars after he took a crowd of about 100 people hostage at a nightclub early this morning. He appeared to have been wired with explosives and was brandishing a rifle, a bayonet, and a knife. The 10-hour siege ended when the gunman was persuaded to leave his last six hostages and turn himself over to the police. The man reportedly was demanding a plane to Beirut where he could be reunited with his wife and three children. Chaos continues tonight in the Caribbean. The, the Caribbean, the capital of Trinidad, is in an uproar. Muslim extremists are still holding the country's prime minister hostage. Arthur Robinson is under the rebels' control in the parliament building. Robinson has reportedly offered them a deal in an effort to get the coup attempt taken care of. In other parts of the city, fires that started during the takeover Friday are still not out, and officials say 22 people have lost their lives. And still ahead on the weekend report, baby Frazier is facing yet another obstacle. And weeding out a pesty problem on Tennessee roads. Stay with us. We bake pearls made of denture material in this blueberry pie to prove how powerfully Efferdent, America's leading denture cleanser, removes this tough stain. Even in between. Efferdent. Stronger than stains. Allergies itch. Make your nose run make you miserable. You need Sinutam Allergy Formula for frequent sufferers. It works for 12 full hours to help stop the itching, the sneezing. Sinutam Allergy helps stop it all. Some people say that snorting cocaine can't kill you. That's the ultimate snow job. Don't cover up for a cocaholic. Call Tennessee Christian for help. The state of Tennessee is getting some help from the insect world this summer. It has to do with a plant most people don't want around and some little bugs that like that plant just fine. As News Channel 5's Craig Owensby reports, the state has put two and two together. It is big, it is ugly, and it will not go away. You can find the thistle on just about any Middle Tennessee roadside. Here's why. In fact, each one of these seed heads has an excess of 30,000 seed. The State Highway Department spends about $200,000 a year on chemicals to kill thistles. But this season, they are trying something different. It has completed its life, its life cycle and moved on, but that's where you can see they've been down in there. It sounds like the ideal arrangement, a little bug which will eat the seeds, kill the thistle, and go looking for more. They are called weevils. There are two kinds, and the highway department's been testing their appetite on little patches of thistle like this one along I-24 near Murfreesboro. Because all of this, this site was almost 100% infested, and there are very few, as you can see, dead plants left on it now. We're not seeing live weevils because they've been here and gone. They don't eat anything but thistles, so it's either find more or starve. And when they hit another thistle patch, they will continue what must be the quietest weed control work around. They don't make any noise, and they're barely an eighth of an inch long, so it's more or less a case of see no weevil, hear no weevil. In Rutherford County, Craig Owensby, News Channel 5. Baby John Frazier went back into surgery today. The Mount Juliet toddler has had a fever for the last couple of days, which could be caused by an infection. Doctors took biopsies of his new liver. They'll have results from those tests Tuesday. Baby John is recovering from a liver transplant in Pittsburgh's Children's Hospital. Extra police are on guard tonight on Chicago's west side. A massive power failure last night left 40,000 customers without electricity and prompted widespread looting. Several stores were totally cleared out by vandals. Police made a number of arrests, but just couldn't keep up with the chaos. Soon they go back down on this end, some more go in the store and start looting. That's what happened last night. This was going on all night, all night long. 
The blackout started when a fire broke out at a generating plant. Utility crews have restored power to some areas, but 25,000 other customers are still waiting. The Houston Ship Channel remains closed tonight while cleanup crews are working on that latest oil spill. A Liberian tanker collided with two barges yesterday, sinking one and causing the other to leak 50,000 gallons of oil. The five-mile-long slick may be headed into sensitive marshlands. And they're assessing the damage down on Main Street in Monroe, North Carolina. An explosion leveled one building and seven others caught fire. More than 100 firefighters were called in to put out the blaze, but in the end, an entire city block was destroyed. Destroyed. Investigators say a gas leak may be to blame. Well, don't go away. There's more to come on the weekend report, including Larry Brenton Street Talk. And you'll find out what one couple found in their closet this morning that gave them the scare of a lifetime. Stay with us. I think of all the mosquitoes and gnats and uh, chiggers. I'm sure glad there's Caladryl, because only Caladryl contains Benadryl, the most recommended topical antihistamine for itch. Caladryl can help stop almost any itch. Poison ivy or poison oak. No see -ums.